Welcome to another video and today I'm gonna talk about the Valorant rank system. One of the most common questions I get is how to rank up fast. And the simple answer to that is play good and win a lot. But maybe if you understand the rank system you can use some tricks to rank up even faster. So in this video I'll explain how the rank system works, loopholes in the system and some tricks you can use for the best way to rank up. But before we start I quickly want to thank the sponsor of this video Insights.gg. Finding it hard to climb this season? One of the best ways to improve is to review your gameplay. And that's where Insights comes in. The world's first review platform with all the tools you need has had a major update along with making it super easy to record your gameplay marking points you need to review like kills deaths and assists it now even showing stats you need to improve on this way it's easy for you to navigate and review every play you can also share your gameplay on their web platform so your friends and teammates can help you rank up i personally think that photo reviewing really helps you improve in valorant when i for example edit my videos i always see that i'm making the same mistakes and the timeline on the insights with all the in-game events is just so useful to spot everything so if you want to try it out feel free to click on the link in the description it's completely free so why not try it out today now let's continue the video so before i can explain how to abuse the rank system you first need to know how it works when you play competitive in valorant you have two different ranks the first one everybody knows about it's your visible rank it's for example gold silver and the amount of rr you have the second rank might be even more important and it's called mmr your mmr is an invisible rank based on your performance each visible rank for example silver has an invisible mmr linked to it if if your MMR is higher than your visible rank, there's a chance you will be playing against higher ranked players. I have an extreme example on my second account. On that account I was only silver free, but when I solo queued I played only with and against platinum players. So next time you see that everybody in your game is a higher rank, you now know why. But calm down my friends, don't tilt because of this. This only means that the game thinks you are better than the current rank you are in. With a higher MMR you can rank up way easier. This is the reason why some people only get minus 8 RR when they lose, and when they win they have a chance to up rank twice. Promotion with gold one, let's go. Never mind, we're gold two, let's go. Just the last thing you need to know about MMR, it also goes the other way around. So if you are for example gold, you play very good and you get a team MVP. I mean 30 kills per game is easy peasy for you, right? But then suddenly you only get like 12 RR, what's that? Well, that might be because you are playing below your skill level. Now you know the reason why. So now we know about the different type of ranks, how can we increase the amount of RR we get per game? Sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but Valorant competitive designer Ephraim War explained this in a tweet. In short, you get more RR points for winning, round differential and performance. And with this knowledge I immediately want to give the first tip to rank up faster. Don't surrender. Every round you win you have a chance to lose less or gain more RR. If the stand is for example 1 to 7 and you surrender it becomes 1 to 13 and you might lose something like 20 RR. But if you keep playing you might still lose but now something like 6 to 13 and suddenly you only lose 16 RR. It's a small difference but in the long run it really helps ranking up. Now let's talk about solo queuing, duo queuing or maybe even even 5 stacking, what's the best way to rank up? Something you should know about 5 stacking and 4 stacking is that if you 5 stack, you have more chance to play against the 5 stack team. This is also the reason why it often takes longer to queue when you play with more people. In my opinion, there's not really a difference on how fast you will rank up by either playing solo queue or 5 stacking. However, if you want to get your true rank, I would advise to either solo queue or duo queue. Keep the group small. And on top of that, from my own experience, I think it's easier to improve in Valorant if you solo queue. There are multiple reasons for this. The main problem in a 5 stack is that often the same players are top fragging and the same players are bottom fragging. This means for the top fraggers they are playing against players that are below their skill level and it's hard to improve when you play against people that are worse than you. While on the other hand of the spectrum some people are just getting wrecked in 5 stacks and then they're gonna compare themselves to their friends and see that they are worse and get insecure because of this. And insecurity is not the right way to climb my friends. While on the other hand if you solo queue or maybe even duo queue the only thing you have to focus on is your own gameplay. And if you only focus on your own gameplay you're gonna rank up way faster easy peasy my friends be careful though for solo queue you need to have a strong mindset so don't pay too much attention to your teammates even if they lose the game for you if you really want to rank up it doesn't matter if you win or lose a game the only thing that matters is that your skill is improving improve your skills first and in the long run your rank will follow another thing i want to discuss about valorant ranked is your perspective because a lot of people don't know how good they actually are on esports tales you can see the valorant rank distribution of november 2021 but i think if you watch this video one year of now 
now, the stats should be relatively the same. Did you know that if you are Silver 2, you are better than 50% of the players? I think that's insane, and if you are Platinum 1, you are even in the top 10% of players. This means that when you are Platinum 1 and you play a tourney against 10 random other players, there's a very high chance you will be number 1 and be the best. When you play rank, just remember the skill and think, where am I at this moment? Are you stuck in gold? Don't worry, you already managed to achieve so much. Or when you're stuck in bronze, you have so much more road in front of you. And climbing your rank should be lots of fun. That's why we play Valorant, right? Just one more thing, some wise words from Equic. Every time someone is ranking up, someone else is ranking down. Keep this in mind when playing, my friends. And of course, it's all about fun. This is the end of the video. I hope you learned something and good luck with your ranked games. Peace.